My name's Ben, and I currently work for the Ministry of Sport, which is part of the Nottingham and Southwell Diocese. Now, I've worked as an intern for the last nine months, and I made this video for two people. Firstly, when I came to do sports ministry, I wasn't really sure what that would look like. So this video is one for some people who want some ideas of what to do with sports ministry. And number two, you may be someone who's a church leader who's involved in church leadership. And this is a video for you to show you what things ministry sport can do to help you or what ideas you might want to do to use sport as a way of reaching out to your community. Number one, fit circuits. Now fit circuits is a group exercise class which is delivered inside a church building. It's done by a qualified instructor inside church. And it's a way for church members to invite friends and neighbours inside a church to get to know them better, to get them fit in a fun environment. You could also just use your church building to have exercise classes if there's people in the community that want to do an exercise class. It doesn't have to be a fit circuit class. Number two, nutrition course. Now this nutrition course is an eight week course delivered in a church. The idea of the course is that the instructor comes in and gives eight weeks, eight different sessions on different elements of nutrition. It's all about trying to develop a body transformation. So the group meets together, there's accountability, there's a chance to get to know people and, and form genuine relationships and the instructor comes and sets a challenge every week and then you celebrate, cheers, things that have got, went well throughout the week as well. That's an eight week nutrition course designed by a qualified nutritionist. Number three, Game On. Now Game On is a sporting community based on the love of sport. It's perfect for inviting sports players and fans to investigate the Christian faith. Now it's a 90 minute uh, event split into two halves. The first half and the second half. Now there's games, there's multimedia, videos, there's a short talk at the end, a vibrant and interactive atmosphere. Now the community meets once a month where the idea is that newcomers can come along to other events that the Ministry of Sport does. Number four, lunchtime clubs. Now these lunchtime clubs are done in schools and they combine sport and faith in Jesus. They normally include some short games, quizzes and a short message and a thought about Christian faith. If you want some ideas of what to do at lunchtime clubs, some powerpoints and things, we could send you some that we've delivered in some Church of England secondary schools. Number five is Sweaty Church. You may have heard of Messy Church, but Sweaty Church is a church with a difference. It's about families learning together through physical activities. Sweaty Church is a missional opportunity to create an active learning environment, allowing families to explore biblical values and the way of Jesus. Now, in the Ministry of Sport, myself and the Sport Ambassador, can come along and de deliver the sweaty church after we plan it and deliver it or you yourself as a church could get a temp the template and then could design your own sweaty church. Number six is quizzes. Now each year Christian Sport design a high quality sports quiz. Quizzes that can be run in a church or in another venue. The evening consists of sporty relevant talk to help people consider the Christian faith and some food. It's ideal for inviting friends, teammates and workmates. Number seven holiday clubs. This is something where the Ministry of Sport can come along and de deliver more of a sporty holiday club. We did a football holiday club in Hucknall, or there may be uh, a chance to go and support smaller churches um, to do things like Script Union based holiday club as well. Number eight is Pray for Sport. Now the Ministry of Sport is committed to equipping churches to reach their communities through sport. And each year we see friends, neighbours and teammates come to hear and experience the good news of Jesus in a relevant way. But it's all down to the work of the Holy Spirit in people's lives and hearts. To see our work flourish, we always need to be in prayer. We always have three events of the year where we can come together in our network to invite people to pray as we train and equip and support each other where we are. Number nine is our golf society. Now the Ministry Sport Golf Day is a fantastic opportunity to sharpen your golf skills with friends and also to get some teaching from a good quality professional. So there's a chance to play a four ball and then a chance to have some dinner and hear a, a short message about the Christian faith. Number 10 is walking football. Now walking football is a slower version of the beautiful game, but it's one of the fastest growing sports in the UK. And it's an activity that gives individuals a chance to play sport they love and provides a social environment for those looking to get active in their spare time. Now it's a level playing field and often when you get older you can often feel lonely and isolated but the fact that walking football is there is to try and get people in community and a chance to get to know them and develop those relationships. Number 11 is Beer and Hymns. Now the FA Cup final is in May every year and the week before that we have a chance to people to sing some classics like Abide With Me, Bread of Heaven, Amazing Grace um, and a chance to hear a short message about the Christian faith. That event's called Beer and Hymns. Number 12 is foot golf, another fastly growing sport in the UK. You can come as an individual, as a team, and compete in a Ministry of Sport football golf tournament. 
It combines elements of football and golf, two of the most popular sports in the world. The beauty of the game lies in being able to strategically combine power and precision every time you play. The day is open for all age ranges, but it's 18 holes, a two course meal and a dinner talk at the end about the Christian faith. Number 13 is Football Special. It's a five-a-side football tournament. It's a quality event where there's stages, group stages, a half-time talk, and a barbecue. There's prizes for the winners, and it's a perfect opportunity to invite your mates for a fun day of football and an accessible introduction to Christianity. Number 14 is the end of season barbecue. At the end of the uh, sporting calendar, we have a chance to have a barbecue with people in our network and chat in a relaxed way about the sporting events that have happened over the summer and the previous year and talk about the plans going forward for the Ministry of Sport. Number 15 is celebration of sport. Each year, we celebrate God's gift of sport by holding a special service. Normally, we invite some special speakers um, to the event. The event is a great opportunity to mingle with others with similar interests and passions and a chance to meet the Ministry of Sport intern and many people involved in sport in that area. A, come, a time to come and celebrate and explore what's going on in the world of sports ministry where you are. Number 16 is major sporting events. Now major sporting events create an amazing platform for the community to come together and a chance for us to use the vehicle of sport to really tell people about the good news of Jesus. Get people together for them to hear about the Christian faith. So churches can get involved in that. We've seen in the Olympics of 2012 um, for a campaign, more than goal campaign, and for the Rugby World Cup in 2015. We saw many churches utilising the opportunity of major sporting events. And the Ministry of Sport can help equip your church or equip you to reach out to your community where you are. Number 17 is pre-season. Now the Ministry of Sport launched pre-season this year, 2016. And it's a week of sports ministry training available for everyone who wants to be involved and love sport to see the world transformed for Christ. Now, it's a chance to combine theory with best practice to give you a first-hand sport and experience, a chance to deliver some events, a chance to go into some schools, um, a chance to get some practical experience of sports ministry to see what it looks like in the future. That's pre-season. a separate video you can watch all about pre-season. And lastly, YouTube channels, number 18. The Ministry of Sports got its own YouTube channel. We know that many people in the younger generation are heavily involved in the digital world. We want to reach that world we want to reach that place where so many people are. So the Ministry of Sport has a YouTube channel to promote events. It also has a YouTube channel to put on talks from Game On. Um, and it also has the YouTube channel to promote videos like this. We also have individual channels where the intern um, and the Sport Ambassador has their own channel, which they talk about different things as well to help reach their friends with the good news of Jesus Christ. So these are just 18 Go strategies, 18 strategies where you can use sport as a vehicle and tool to tell people about Jesus. Hopefully, there's one of those things that you might be interested in. And if you are interested, why not go to the Ministry of Sport website, www.ministryofsport.org.uk to find out how you can use some of those products, use some of those ideas in your own context. Why not get in contact with Rob Taylor, the Sport Ambassador, or myself, Ben Wellman, the Sports Ambassador intern. Thanks very much, guys. Hope this helped. God bless. Game on.